Hey everybody, welcome back to Pop's Toy Shop. I'm Tony, and this is Reagan again. She wanted to be in another video. Um, I like being in videos. <laughs> I like having you in the videos. Yeah. Uh, today we've got a couple mystery boxes that we're going to talk about, and uh, we'll. Uh, I think I have a couple other things I might show off too, just to, while while we're at it. So, uh, but we're going to start off with a mystery box here, real quick, Yay. and it says mystery box on it. <laughs> uh, this is from Mind's Eye. I want to open. And uh, it's just a, a mystery box that they had. I think I've seen Beer to Pop open a couple of these, and they always have something pretty cool on the inside. So we're going to open it up, and we'll take a look and see what we got inside. I will cut it open. Because it's pretty sealed tape. It's not just in one spot. We go. Open it. Okay, set it down. Okay. So first, oh, this tells what's inside. Yeah, don't want to look at that yet. So I've, I've already seen inside the box, so we won't do it totally oh, as a mystery box. So first thing we have is it says Seder Rory. Rory. I think they're like little figurines. Zodiac, like Zodiac signs, Zodiac wine box. Ah, so they're Zodiac things. There's several different ones and then there's a, a mystery one so let's let's see what we got here all right let's take a look and see what's inside here I got my glasses so I can actually see what these are all right I think they like little I'll open the first one you can open the next one all right it has I don't know what that is. It looks like a... And it is a mystery to the viewers. It says Pop Mart on it. It looks like a little hockey puck type I thing. I think it might be a stand or something. Uh, and it said Seder Rory and it says Gemini on it. I think it might be like for something that I'm going to stand on. So we'll see. I don't know if that's exactly what's in here or if that's just you know, something they put on the box. I think it's just something we put on the box. It is the exact same thing. Alright. Nope. It is. It looks like it is Gemini because that's what it shows like. And it's a little uh, satyr. You know, from like Pan is in the in the woodland creatures. Nice. So. That's what it looks like. Or she or. I'm I guessing it's she it's because she. it's pink. So. All right. Well, that's Gemini. Wow. And I think uh, it's like a... yeah, it just shows it as a regular it has one. Legs. It doesn't have. It's not the. I have no idea what the that is. surprise one. So. So. <laughs> all right. Now you open this one next. Okay. Let's just set this to the side. So here's the box. What does it say on it? I know what these are. It's a limer for unicorno. These are like little unicorn figurines, and you can get like ultra rare ones, like the golden ones right there. Okay. And Let's set this. There's no Libra. There should be a Libra. There's not. There's two Gemini. <laughs> There's no Libra. I'm gonna try to. All right. Let's this see one. what we got. I think this is like. Yeah. The little thing that explains what they are. Um, I think. Can I go ahead and open yeah, it? Yeah, go ahead and open it. You may? Nope, it's not a golden one. It's uh, this one right here. Looks like the Year of the Monkey? Yep, it's Year of the Monkey. Okay, I'll hold that up to the Let's camera there so you can see what it is. It's a little unicorn with a monkey on it. I love it. So, interesting. i seen that on uh, <laughs> kids' YouTube. Uh, it's like they're collecting these things. All right. We'll do. Looks like this one next. It's a, it's Harry a, Potter figure it's a Wizarding know. Wizarding World Harry Potter. Let's see, it has you know different you mini figures and on it, and of course it also has the the uh, special one. So got some desiccant in there. Keep the moisture out. I think I might know what these are. They're and just... it shows Professor McGonagall mm. on the card, so I'm assuming that's what the figure is going to be. Is there a camera for Professor McGonagall? Yes, 
there is. We'll see. Oh, that's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, he does. He does. He has a cat. That's her sitting there with a cat in her lap. So, I think but I thought the cat, she turned into like a brown cat, not a gray. white cat. I don't know. Maybe. But anyway, it's still, it's still really cool looking. It's, you know, of course it shows her as old, but she looks like a little, little kid, so. All right. Now pick, pick what you want to do next. Mm -hmm. It's just like this, it's this little container thingy. There's not that much. What does it say on it? It says, uh, Vinyl Artist Gotcha. Vinyl Artist Gotcha. It's a Frankenstein yep. one. I think, I think Gotcha is like the vending machines that they have. Uh, yeah, where we have here, we have the little machines that have the little capsule, and capsule toys and it's, it has teeth on it. I think in Japan... Here, let like, me see if I can get it for you. I, got you. I think in Japan you can go to, like, gotcha machines and get, like, anime jerseys and stuff. Here, let me, let me see. There. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's Frankenstein. Down. It's a and it's a little Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Figurine. Almost looks like Frankenstein as a child or something. It's called Little Sad Frankie. That's what it's well, mm, which kind of looks like it because he has a tear coming down his down his yeah, cheek. Yeah, here's so. Here's this thing. Here's a collectible item. Those will sit up there. For some reason, this one doesn't want to stand up. So we'll just have to leave her down. So. It looks like. All right, we'll go ahead and let you. Do, I'll let you go ahead and do that one too. Oh, what is it? And then I'll do the last one that's in the box. I try to know. I'm not going to say it because it's supposed to be a surprise. Well, here, let me show them the box first before you finish ripping it open. <laughs> it says Mousy Little on it. Mousy Little. Modern Fairy Tales. Yeah, Modern Fairy Tales. So. Don't tell any more about it because... Having troubles. <laughs> I got some more of the desiccant, the moisture absorber that says oh, do not there, eat. There's, uh, there's, do not like, eat. there's like a little table and a coffee mug that was on top. And then I think this is what the character, yeah, it is. That's what the character looks like. I'm not it's not very much of a surprise if you have a card that shows what it is, and then yeah. when you you shouldn't you shouldn't know until you open the package. Yeah, it's like a thing. Thingy. It's a. Uh, um, no, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's, it's a sloth. I mean, I think it's maybe a ghost. Goat. Go got its hair tied around and down to under its chin. Maybe what is the? Mama. What does the card say? Well, it's mousy little, so it says Wait, here, Violet here. Dwarf, number three, uh, right there. Uh, yeah, Violet Dwarf. I think it's a girl because of Violet. So, anyway. Oh. I was gonna say hipster mama. <laughs> and here's this. It says Pop Mart on the bottom, cup. on the bottom on the feet. So, that's what it's supposed to I guess that's kind of like Funko has its own signature, and it won't stand and up. Then there's stand with the ladder with the coffee mug. Alright. There's one more thing in the box and it's a Funko Pop. Funko Pop. And it is the Plain Crazy Mickey. It is the 50th anniversary of Mickey Mouse. And it is one of the, the five uh, Amazon had the five pack that had all five of them in it. Uh, which I do have available if anybody's looking for it. Um, but this is the one that's the uh, separate that's you know when they all come together uh, you can get them all separate too and so it says preserving the magic Walt Disney archives on it so it has plain crazy Mickey classic Mickey sorcerer Mickey yeah. beanstalk Mickey and then just Mickey Mouse so okay all right, that's the Mind's Eye, uh, Mind's Eye Mystery Box. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, it's got a lot of neat stuff in it. Yeah. So, um, kind of like that one. I, I've seen it 
on uh, Beer to Pop, they've opened some, and everything seems to be different. I mean, the ones they've opened is completely different than what I've opened. So, um, and we'll go ahead and talk real quick about a couple of pops that I just got in uh, today, actually. The Mickey one. If anybody's interested in them, uh, this is the uh, Lucky uh, Mickey Mouse Saint from St. Patrick's Day. It was a Funko Shop exclusive. It took a little longer to, for it to sell out than most of them do, but he did eventually sell out. So I do have two of these available. Um, he is pretty cool. Of course, we got St. Patrick's Day coming up, so it would be a perfect one to have uh, hang out with you and yeah, bring you some too. luck. So Hopefully you do get some luck. And then we have the uh, Majin Buu Evil, and this is the metallic one from uh, Funimation. And that just came out here recently. I have two of these as well. Which I have the, the Majin Buu uh, regular one that's evil. But this is the Funimation version that's the metallic version. And, Princess and then Tiana. we have Princess Tiana and Naveen. This is, Naveen the, diamond, is, the, this is the Diamond Edition. That's the Prince. And it's a uh, box lunch exclusive. And it says, no, it's not Diamond, it's a Glitter Edition. So, then, but it looks really cool. It looks like her dress is all glitter and the frogs all glitter. So yeah, it's got Doctor Facilier and then uh, Lewis on Wait, the back as well. So is that there on the? So I guess that's going to be part of the same line coming out soon. So, all right. I want to see the voodoo guy. There I'll we go. Later, all right. Next thing we've got is I got a box here from. Uh, mysterygrail.com uh, this is seven bucks a pop sister company that just started out a month ago I think uh, I think they've had four drops so far uh, I've gotten two of their drops uh, this is the first one that they sent uh, which was week two and then I also got week three that I'll do in a later video but uh, these are their mystery boxes I'm going to go ahead and open it up down here to the side because it comes they all have I got four of them and they're all in their own little mystery box, so uh, help keep the mystery alive a little bit better. So And also it is a big box. Yeah. Go ahead and get that open up. Be careful. Alright. We have four boxes in here. You get to open two and I will get to open two. There's number two for you. Can I open the um, and one, one two. two for me. Can I open one first? Yes, you can open one first, but I'm gonna show the I'm gonna show the box. It's a neat box. I mean they came out special of fourth. These are fifteen dollars a piece. You know, and so that's just it's just cheap. But you can also get just regular common pops. They're not all high dollar super good ones but they do have really good uh grail hits that you get i think one of the grail hits was like a thousand dollar pop or something like that i think one of them might have been two thousand dollars i mean it's ridiculous so you you take that chance because you always take that chance with mystery boxes so but there we go is that's what the box looks a, like is there just a pop there is there? just one pop and then it'll also have uh, some uh, gum in it i believe because that's what seven bucks a pop does they put they put gum in all their pops so gum. Here, we'll just set these to the side here. And of course, on the inside, it's, it's all separate. And, oh, we got Tootsie Rolls in here. And the pop that she got is Zori Bliss from Star Wars. Oh, fruit shoes. Yeah, this is not a very valuable pop. I think it's, it pretty much costs what the box costs. So it's not like you really lose anything. And then, uh, then That's also, it each one of them has a scratch-off ticket in it to where you can win prizes, you can win uh, tokens. If you get enough tokens, then you can uh, buy mystery boxes or other stuff like that. So so we're going to go ahead and scratch this off here and take a look and see. I guess that's not going to work. Just, just use my knife. That's good. I also have a coin in my coin purse that I could get. Try to be careful so I don't rip rip it all off of there. Would you like a coin? It looks like it says 
Ooh, that's not bad. It's one thousand tokens. So that's a good one. Good thing to go right there. We'll have to enter that later on and see how much more we need to get a free box. But I bet a thousand will get us pretty far. So is there like? All right, this is your second box. So you just leave that there. And then I'm gonna open mine up. And then I'll open of course, one. you know it's closed on top. And we'll open her up, and we have. Le Chiffre, or however you pronounce that, from uh, 007 from Casino Royale. I actually already have this pop, so he's still a decent. He's a still a decent value. I think he's still the same about what uh, about what the box costs. So it's not like I really lost anything. Um, and they do they do all come in the seven bucks a pop soft protectors, which are the best pop protectors. Are the ones that the only ones I use and sell. And so any box, any pop that I sell that's over twenty dollars, I always stick it in one of these. And if you get above a hundred dollars, then I end up going into the um, the uh, pop armor, which is the absolute best in the business. I, I mean, I don't know why you would want to buy anything else. So, all right, there we go. Oh, we have the chiffre. Okay, then you have we have we have some more uh, Gun. tootsie rolls in there, I'll and then. It. We have the scratch off ticket that I'm going to scratch off. Because you can't scratch them off because that's gambling. How is that gambling? <laughs> Dude, oh, how about tokens. that? There's 2,000 tokens. So now, off of two tickets, we've gotten 3,000 tokens. I'll have to look and see how much you need to get what to be able to win something. What if there's 3,000 tokens in here or 4,000 tokens? Well, that would be good. <laughs> so, all right. Okay. Open that one up and see what's in that one. What if there's 4,000? I haven't got anything big out of here yet, but we have at least gotten our money back, so it's not like we've really lost anything. And what do we have on this one? Oh, wait, there's some gum in here. Some gum. And we have Punisher 2099 from the Gamerverse. There's the scratch off ticket. Still a neat pop. I didn't I didn't have my phone for this video, so I don't I can't really scan the things. I'll put a put a little thing below that sell, sells with tells what each one's worth so yeah, I think this one's still around the same this one might be a little bit more because I've, I've had and sold this one before he's pretty popular he's a really cool looking pop and it has the different ones on the back I always really like the Howard the Duck one I think that would be really cool it's not worth a whole lot but hey I'm a child of the 80s I you know I liked Howard the Duck and everybody else said it sucked really bad I liked it so Here, let me do that so you don't you don't end up scratching it off to where we can't. I thought you were talking about a duck from Duck Tales. Uh, 200 tokens. This one's only 200 tokens. So, not quite as good as the other ones, but still pretty good. At least it's not one token. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And for our last mystery box. Open. We have Stan Lee, uh, Captain America. He's the one where he's in the general outfit. Still really neat pop. I mean, of course, it's Stan Lee. Every, everybody loves Stan Lee. I mean, how can you not? I mean, he, he brought us the Avengers and the Hulk and Spider-Man and all the greatest characters ever. So, boxes, you know, the pops are all in excellent shape. Of course, still in the uh, seven bucks a pop pop protector. Does have a little thing on the Walmart sticker there? I guess it brought a little bit of the <laughs> the paper with it whenever they put it put it on there. So, all right, let's see what the what it says on the scratch off ticket. Two thousand two hundred tokens. And another two hundred tokens. So that's still not bad. I mean, that's thirty four hundred tokens. I mean, I don't know how much you need to win something. I'll put that information below too. That way you guys know um, what it would take. So, but well, that's pretty cool. It's kind of like. Uh, uh, BAM box has those scratch off tickets that Clint scratches off all the time with our franchise kicks that he has never won anything. Uh, he said he has talked to a few people that's actually won something. I've actually never bought the BAM boxes yet because uh, they don't always have Funkos in them. So I try to stick to things that will have Funko Pops because that's what I know. So anyway, there we go. Except for the snack crates. Except for the snack crates. But <laughs> we got a, neat, a bunch of neat little toys in here. We got a good set of Funko Pops. 
um, I'd say I at least got my money back, if not some more, because uh, I think I think Stan's running seventeen, eighteen dollars. I want to say Punisher's probably around the same. Uh, the Shift Ray, last time I looked, I think he was about thirteen, and Zori Bliss, I think, was still running around twelve or thirteen dollars as well. I'm not real sure about playing uh, playing Crazy Mickey. He's probably still around the twelve, thirteen dollar range too. So, not too bad. So, what do you think? Did you like it? Yeah, of course, you mostly like the candy. <laughs> but anyway, well, there's our video for today. We had a good time making it. I hope you guys have had a great week so far. And uh, be sure to come back and see us another time, and have a great day.